Hello guys, Igor here doing one more AppSumo review. Today analyzing Deep Talk, a tool that transforms tax data into priceless customers insights and analytics and I'm going to start that review saying buy that one yes because those kind of AI tool and data science if you are into marketing or research it will give you a lot of valuable insight that you are not going to have you can sell those research and also use it for your marketing campaign you're going to understand what I'm going to show you but that is the kind of tool that is rare and you don't want to miss it and the limits are pretty good i'm gonna have more than one video about that tool so that is the review i'm gonna go in depth later on to explain you how you are gonna get better insights okay so as you can see here zip talk allows you to transform your company's text like chats surveys and emails into valuable data so you can improve customer success sales and ai bot they're branding the tool for customers but it's much more than that you can use that for research you can use that for political marketing you can use that for human rights research it's kind of gosh this is this is this is a real thing if if you think outside the box you can do a lot with that of course you can use it with your customers for instance you have a lot of chats with them and then you can understand their preference but it's not only about that you can use facebook posts you can use twitter posts you only need a tool to scrap the data and i'm going to show you and then you can use it to get relevant outcomes it's like gosh you can sell that service it's really good i'm planning to stack one more i'll write about on quote uh but i'm will try to get up 500,000 rows of data per month but i don't know if i'm gonna if i'm gonna use it so i'm keeping with fun quotes and maybe i'm gonna go to the tier three so we are all gonna get the startup plan and i'm also doing a question to see if there is a difference from other plans in later later in the development of, of the tool but all those shares are startup plan and the only difference are the number of rows per month so of course if you can go for tier three you're gonna get more rows and tier four is outstanding it's a million of rows a lot of data to analyze that's the the real thing if i'm if i say that i'm gonna use it a lot i'm gonna try to go to tier four because i think that one is a winner but by now i bought the tier one and if you can only get the tier one if you're a casual data science geek if you are normally with data science just buy tier one and you are good to go but this is a real thing this is a real tech i really like it so let's go to check how deep talk works here is their website they are branding for customer success but you can use it with for political marketing purpose for instance to research politics preference audience preference and so on like you can just think outside the box they have an about us that's a real good flag so they're here they have a team with linkedin that that's good that's the real thing ever startup needs to have that so you can know who are the guys so they have their linkedin they have a team year founded process conversations no that that's awesome that's awesome they are they are saying who they are okay so let's check out the tool so as you can see here i'm on my dashboard and i'm gonna show you first the settings that's pretty easy to understand you're gonna see here on the settings your number of rows per month that those are per month so you can use a hundred thousand of rows per month it means a hundred thousand of conversations it's a lot of course if you're gonna just use a mass twitter data to get insights you're gonna need more 
it's, it's very sad. It depends on your use case. For that price, seeing how valuable it, it is, if you're a guy that you are into the data science, it may worth the license tier four. But by now I bought the license tier one and you can see here I'm on startup plan. Okay. And integrations, they have by now intercom. I think they are going to add more integrations in the future. But what does it mean is that you can connect intercom and connecting intercom, you're going to push all your customers' conversations through deep talk, and then you can analyze, analyze their sentiments, uh, their preference, etc. Here are the, the tasks you run on the tool. So you can see the history and the projects. First, I'm going to show you a demo pro project in them. I'm going to show you how to use the tool. But you're going to have more than one video about Deep Talk. I'm going to show you how to scrap the data to create your outcome, right? So that is only a first video, a review video. So as a demo project, you can see here that we have the Obama tweets. So we, we scrapped first the Obama tweets and we have that data. And the tool will scrap their preference. We'll use artificial intelligence to understand Obama's preference. And here you're going to see what you're going to get. First, you have the summary. And here you can see that this project analyzed 536 elements. And here are the words Obama likes more. Kids, stories, communities, team, votes, election, work. Cool. Obama Foundation, hope. Michelle, he likes her woman. <laughs> woman, read, young, folks. Okay, so that, that are the Obama's best pres, uh, preference. That's awesome, okay? And here you can see the number of times that they, he said vote, fractions, family, Michelle Obama, work, pandemic, story. You can see all the words and how many times he used it during a time frame. Okay, here if it's included media link on the Twitter or not. Here you can see the topics. So votes are related to plan, election, below. Georgia states on th that time frame that they researched th those Twitter and hope are related to song and happy. So you can understand Obama's communication. Jeez is like really powerful. Okay. I hope politicians does do not discover that too. And you can research the topics. Okay. And here you can discover, um, you can search by time frame okay so here are the clouds between 6 august and 9 august of 2018 and you can see half american and also see the text previews the best topics tweets during those time frames the trends also vote on october 2021 because it was um it were election time and here we didn't uh select twitter groups okay so that is the data you're gonna get by now of course they will develop the tool but this is real tech this is really awesome so i'm gonna say try the, the license tier four because this is powerful okay so how are you gonna create one i i, I was trying to create an own Kagan, but I'm going to do it for our next review. Okay. Our next review here, here's their tutorial. You can click here for the tutorial, but now I'm going to add a new project. So a test project and you have two options by now that integration with intercom or CSF file. You're going to use more CSF by now. So you have two time of data type, one that are more complex that you need to organize your data. So you need the content on your CSF, the text of the message, it's maybe tweets, Facebook posts, YouTube comments, 
etc. Timestamp, when was the message sent, then they can create the time frame. And conversation ID, an identifier allowing us to group message into conversations. And person type, who sent that message? Obama, Igor, Noam Kagan, who? Okay, and here it's you're gonna use more because it's difficult to create this CSF, but it's better if you're gonna go really in depth in research, do it. But if not, you're gonna use the general text data. Here you can name your model and describe your model, usually for your conversation model. Okay, so general text data, you need uh, text data with the text and the time frame. Okay, day, date, and hour. At least date and hour. Okay, a uh, random CSF with the message and the date. And then I'm gonna upload the file, the file, preview it, mapping it text to text, date to date, and they are gonna create the data. I'm gonna create another review with all those steps this week. So just follow the channel and you're going to see it. Now I'm going to, that is the tool and it's how it works. But now I'm going to show you which tool you need to use by now. You can use Captain Data, but Captain Data does not have all the feature text AU has now. So to work better with the tool, TextO has more steps, for instance, to get tweeters, to get tweets from a Twitter. So you're going to log in on TextO. I'm here. I'm here in the tool. And let's say you can do it with Facebook. You can do it with YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to do it on another video. That one is the review, not the tutorial. So one that you can use is that one here, extract Twitter posts from the hashtags. And how you're gonna use it? Only an overview, you're gonna get another video. You're gonna create the hashtag, for instance, Epsumo, and you're gonna select the number of the tweets you're gonna scrap. So let's say a maximum of 1,000 tweets. So we are gonna lose 1,000 of rows on that month, okay? And I'm gonna extract those tweets and I'm gonna get tweets and more data, including the the data, actually the data, the date, sorry. And then you are gonna take that, C that CSF and you are gonna add that CSF, CSF on the Deep AI tool to create a new data then you're going to have a new model. So that's how Deep Talk works. And you need to integrate it with another tool. And the best one as a research by now is Texo. Okay, you can do it with Captain Data and Exomatic as well. But Texo has more social media spice to create new models. I hope you liked that review. Wait, wait, because in that week, we're going to create a tutorial for that. If you like that review, please click on the link below and get to know more about Deep Talk. Bye bye.